Hello, this is John Harrigan, founder of the website ImmortalNow.com, where we teach the secret to immortality, physical immortality on earth, creating a heaven on earth. How do we do this? Well, we do it through the three steps, the three major categories that we go through, that we practice to evolve and transform. The first of those three is that is called mindfulness for immortality. The second is Qigong for lasting life. And the third is immortality coaching. The three parts of the secret to immortality that you can find at immortalnow.com. Today, in this episode, we're going to talk about forgiving, forgiveness. And it's a, it's a tricky word. You know, how can you really forgive someone that has, that was a terrible person maybe, maybe with no feelings of conscience, maybe with little empathy that acted to harm us, that could have been our mother or father, our wife, our husband, or our boss at work. You know, at best, we need to get away from these people uh, as soon as we can to protect ourselves uh, while we can't get away. But let's say that situation is gone and in the past. And sometimes we talk about being ready to forgive or not being ready to forgive. And I learned a lesson years ago. And forgiveness has nothing to do with being ready or not ready. Just stick with me. Forgiving is part of life. It's part of how anyone becomes a happy, fulfilled person. That's my pop screen in front of my microphone. I'm lowering it a bit. Forgiveness is part of anyone's good life. It's part of any personal development program, part of any spiritual growth or any religion new or historic forgiving in forgiveness and forgiving we forgive our way to happiness bliss and love we can't really feel happiness bliss and love we can't really feel relaxed and at peace if we haven't forgiven and i suggest to you forgiveness can be tricky we can think we've forgiven everyone but we haven't, and that's why we do introspection. That's why with immortality coaching, we use a classic 12-step approach, a psychotherapeutic approach, a, a way to spiritual growth and personal happiness. The 12 steps, nothing new. It wasn't new when they came up with it. It wasn't new a 100 or a 1,000 years ago. For anyone to grow and find ease and find physical immortality, heaven on earth, for anyone to do that, you have to let go of your resentments. You have to find your unconscious harms that you're still holding on to. It is a natural process. When we're harmed, we're supposed to remember it. Who harmed me? Not forget it to keep ourselves safe. And if you need to remember a harmful person can hurt you and make yourself safe, that's kind of another issue, but just go along with me today. Forgiving other people is essential because it detaches us from that other person. Let's say you had a childhood where some really bad things happened to you. The only bad things that can happen to human beings are physical abuse, sexual abuse, verbal abuse, and neglect. There's, if there's something else, write in the comments, because I can't think of it as I'm here. The only way we can be hurt is physically, sexually acting out uh, wrongly, somebody towards us, and verbally. And that's the only way we can harm other people. But the problem is, in close proximity, uh, those are normal behaviors and normal urges. So let's get going. Forgiving our way to happiness, bliss, and love. How do, you, how do you do that? I may have touched on some areas you're just not ready to forgive. Believe me, you don't have to be ready to forgive to forgive. I remember years ago, I uh, didn't really have someone to talk to at the moment, at the time. Usually I do, but I talk to 
an elderly Episcopal priest about this very topic, about forgiveness. And I don't even remember, I don't even remember who and what I wasn't forgiving, but I just couldn't forgive. And the reality was I couldn't detach. Forgiveness is simply detaching from someone. And in my mind, I couldn't forgive that person. And the only thing that was really happening is that I couldn't detach from that person. But I didn't understand it and I needed somebody to help me. I talked, she must have been in her 80s, and I'm not sure she really should have been talking to anyone. She was not the head priest of the church, just kind of a volunteer at that point. And um, overall, she gave really terrible advice, and she shouldn't have been talking to anyone in that capacity, but I know how to find the help that I need. And I asked her about forgiving, and she said, well, you just forgive. And I think she just couldn't think of how to tell me to forgive. But, you know, when we come with a good perspective into asking for help, as soon as she said, you just forgive, something clicked in me. And I went away from that session thinking, yeah, John, just forgive. And I just said uh, to the woman, so I'll just say I forgive this person or that person. And she said, yes. Not because she was wise, I think she was woefully incompetent uh, and shouldn't have been talking to anyone, but I decided to get something out of the session. And I won't talk about why she was woefully incompetent. I doubt she ever had the ability to counsel, a good training and the experience, and it's just something that she suggested she could do at her advanced age when she couldn't. But it helped me nonetheless. I realized that if I just said, I forgive my mother, I forgive my father, I forgive my ex-wife, I forgive this person, that person, I'm just mentioning all the people that can forgive us. I forgive that strange woman at the park that was accusing me of this and that uh, when she was just frankly disturbed. Um, what has happened in your life today that can you, you can think of? Just say, I forgive. Say, I forgive my life. I forgive this world. I forgive God. I forgive my higher power. I forgive a creation that is harsh and unforgiving, that is unfair, that kills and makes innocent people suffer. We have a lot of forgiveness to do. I suggest with the secret to immortality that we teach at immortalnow.com Forgive everyone and everything with me today. Let's forgive. Let's forgive the world. Let's forgive everyone we've ever known or will know. Let's forgive everyone and everything. Forgiveness is letting go and letting in compassion, grace, and love for ourselves. Some people say it has nothing to do with the other person. I doubt that's true. I think it has something to do with the other person. If we can forgive or stated more accurate, accurately, if we can disengage from a person that, that has hurt us, in some way it has to be productive for that individual, individual, no matter how troubled, depraved, or perfectly fine that individual may be, when we can forgive and let go of that fear, resentment, and hate, when we can let, forgive and detach from the situation, person, or thing, when we, can t when we detach or let go of our idea, a lack of forgiveness, which is fear and resentment, a lack of forgiveness is sim simply a continuing attachment to the situation or person that hurt us. So, today, and I apologize for the glare in my glasses, I don't know if I'll ever be able to fix that. And um, I apologize for the lighting in general. I'm in a new room and I'll work on that slowly and, and improve it over time. But we are forgiving. So please forgive the lighting <laughs> of this video. Detach from the irritation or judgment you may have of it. Forgiving our way to happiness, bliss, and love. I suggest every day practice forgiveness. Begin the day 
I forgive myself, I forgive the world. The world can dish out some difficult things to us and to everyone else. I forgive myself. I forgive everything that's happening in the world this moment that's harsh and wrong. We're teaching the secret to immortality here at immortalnow.com. I suggest you go. You can read free articles on our blog. You can find our podcast up in the top of the page menu. You can find our book that you can order on Amazon. You can get going with the secret to immortality in the three steps, mindfulness for immortality, Qigong for lasting life, and immortality coaching at our website, immortalnow.com. Please go. We're trying to really transform the world here. We don't need everybody to be forgiving. We don't need everybody to working to be working on their own immortal life in a heaven on earth on earth we just need enough people doing that to make a difference to change the physics of the planet and our experience forgiving our way to happiness bliss and love forgive everyone and everything right now this instant i forgive myself i forgive my mother i forgive my father my sisters my brothers i forgive the world and everything harsh and difficult that's happening in the world or that has ever happened to me bliss compassion love we're clearing the way for bliss compassion and love to come come out of us to come out of our core out of our soul out of our true self, I suggest with the secret to immortality and any program of spiritual development, they teach that at our core, at our soul, is happiness, bliss, and love, is peace and forgiveness. Because anyone that does progressive development work, whatever you call it, and whatever it is, eventually you get to that soul, that beautiful core inside. And different people describe it different ways, but they all basically say the same thing. Bliss, love, happiness, peace, timelessness, infinity, eternal life. But I suggest with the secret to immortality and people that have taught me, please take it one step further to heaven on earth physically that we create with our thoughts, with our words and our actions heaven on earth right now. Forgiveness is letting go and letting in compassion, grace, and love for ourself. We're really not letting it in. We're letting it into our experience that may not be experiencing it, but we have all the compassion, all the grace and love that there is and ever will be in ourselves as who we are, that we share with a higher power, that we share with nirvana and heaven that we share with god if those are your words we share with each other this beautiful perfect soul individuals yet love when we love somebody else platonically or even romantically we remain an individual they remain an individual i'm not my grandmother that i love but we share this beautiful feeling this beautiful consciousness we share the same mindset and what a wonderful thing when we're in love when we're acting from love with integrity any place time any situation and when somebody else can be acting from a similar love everything we do together even if it's just sitting down and watching a river flow everything we do together is miraculous and exponentially giving of grace and love to keep attacking and harming another in our mind only harms ourselves i think in some way energetically it may harm the other person but when we keep attacking and harming another person in our mind and maybe they've done all the wrong things maybe we've done nothing and maybe we truly have been totally victimized but in our minds we repetitively continue maybe sometimes even compulsively to attack and harm that person. This is a natural response to be safe, but in most of us, it gets carried away. When we keep attacking and harming another in our mind that mostly harms ourselves, be aware of that and instead stop doing it 
and take yourself to forgiveness, love, and compassion. If you're having a tough time with resentment or fear in your mind, listen to our podcast. Watch. I think we have over a hundred videos now. You're watching this right now. Um, we have over a hundred videos. If you're watching this on YouTube, we have over a hundred videos. If you're not doing well, just go to our video channel and watch one of our videos. Go to our website and read an article. Go to our podcast and listen. This will be on YouTube and also what I'm saying now will be on a podcast. To be whole, accepting and kind keeps us open to the blessings of the world. When we can detach from a resentment, when we can forgive, which is simply detachment, we move into wholeness of self, of experiencing our deep core. To be whole, accepting, and kind keeps us open to the blessings of the world, the blessings of our soul, our core, the bliss of who we are. I promise you, all of that is you. And all you need to do is want it and seek it a little bit every day a little bit every day with gentleness. Forgive and forgive again. Forgive the world, forgive yourself. Learn and grow as you do this. Forgive and forgive again. Love yourself, love the world. Let that infinite love flow as you say, I forgive everyone and everything. It allows you to love everyone and everything when you forgive everyone and everything. It, it allows this beautiful love to come out from the core of you into the world. And it really is coming out. We're meant to be conduit conduits of love, compassion, and forgiveness, flowing that out into the world, connecting to the world's compassion, love, and goodness, I assure you there's even more compassion, love, and goodness in the world, in the creation, than you could ever know until you start forgiving and letting your love, compassion, and goodness go into the world. I'm reading a little bit from my um, page, and I'll turn down the light from my computer screen page on the next video, and that should take care of some of the glare and make the lighting a little better. Forgive and forgive again. Forgive the world, forgive yourself. Learn and grow. Every day, get that gift. We can receive the gift, a gift of gold all day long, that gold being the bliss, the love, compassionate of the infinite, of our higher power, the God of our understanding, the gold of bliss, compassion, and love that is everywhere in the world that is at our core inside us as we breathe, as we eat, as we sleep, as we walk, as we work. Be humane and good. To be happy, to be at peace, to be calm and relaxed. Be humane and good. That's how bliss comes about. But forgiveness is required. Detachment of the harms that have been done they're go if we haven't detached, those harms are still in us. And the healing process of any religion, every spiritual program, any therapy, it's finding a way to let go and heal. Be humane and good. Forgiveness is required. To let go and heal, listen to this podcast. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, watch and listen to this again and again and you'll slowly get it, you'll slowly be able to let go because you're not letting go alone. If you're healing, if you're gaining integrity, if you're disconnecting from resentments and harms that you continue, you do it because you're surrounded by a higher power that you feel and a greater love that you feel and you trust. Accept the perfect flow of love that is alive as who you are in the world, in you. Everyone in the world can love each other. You know, some people aren't very nice. And it, it, for some of them, it can be a developmental thing, the way their brain um, grew. And that's science, and I'm not going to get into it. But understand that 
nobody acts badly because they want to. Um, nobody is a really terrible person because they set out in life even wanting, wanting to be. Even Ted Bundy regretted that he just couldn't help doing bad things. Um, it's kind of a hell that these people are stuck in. And I'm not talking about saving them today. I suggest that you distance yourself from people that are harming you very quickly and then work on forgiveness from a safe place. Accept the perfect flow of love that is alive, that is who you are right now in your core, all of us. You know, even um, a death row man or woman that has done heinous things, um, if they have a mother that's alive, that loved them, that mother still sees only the soul of that person. That mother can't believe that their good baby ever did anything bad or wrong. Sometimes we may be in a love relationship with someone terrible that's harming us, but we're able to see, see and experience their soul and we still have love and acceptance of that person, yet you need to think about whether you should be in that relationship or getting away from it safely. And my background, I was a counselor for the state of Florida. I have a bachelor's in psychology with, and I took all the pre-med science courses. Didn't want to be a doctor, but science has come easy to me. I loved organic chemistry and got A's in it. I don't share that with everybody. Um, we need to forgive. We need to get better, improve, and grow every day. I majored in psychology. My master's is in family, rela in family relations. I worked as a counselor for the state of Florida. I saw abusive situations where couples were abusing each other, where children were being abused, and sometimes just distance and separation is the answer. And I'm just saying if somebody's harming you, get away safely if you can. If it's a complex situation, seek help. Get counseling if you can get it. Talk to an experienced person if you can. We're not here to have other people harm us and simply endure it. We're here to have a peaceful, safe environment to the best of our ability to work slowly at creating that if we don't have it and to forgive and let go of the harms. I'm talking about our environment because it's really hard to forgive and get to our golden self when we're, we're living in a dangerous situation where people are harming us. And the people, unfortunately, that can harm us the most are the people closest to us. And that those are usually families and loved ones or people that were at time loved ones. It isn't funny, but I'm laughing because I've been there myself. I've worked with other people that are there and you can get out of it. Just start asking for help. Professionals around you or experienced people around you that you trust start asking for help in the meantime be humane and good that's how we get to our eternal core that's how we get to heaven on earth by creating it with our thoughts our words and our actions be humane and good please that is the secret to immortality it's a little more than that it's it's visioning physical immortality on earth it's understanding how it works with some work, some reading on our website, immortalnow.com. But for the secret to immortality, be humane and good. Forgiveness is required. Required, I'm sorry to say. It is required. You can't have resentments and be feeling your best ever. You can't have resentments and get to the gold of your soul. Forgive. We kill ourselves literally and harm the world with unconscious, unconscious sentiment and mood of resentment and hate. Most of this, often, it's unconscious. Most of this is unconscious. It may be very conscious. You may be very angry at someone who hurt you. You may be wrongly angry at someone who didn't really hurt you. 
for the most part, minute to minute and day by day, most of our resentments, our anger and our hate is unconscious. We don't think we really even have it. We may not think we have any resentments towards anyone. Well, try some immortality coaching, work through the 12 steps. The first step is we're powerless over the force of death, but we find that higher, we find that higher power that greater reality within us that is eternal life that we can express in our physical bodies in the world. To get to that, we have to do a little bit of work in immortality coaching. Before you do coaching, you do mindfulness for immortality. You can read all about that on our website for free. You can try some Qigong for lasting life on our website for free to see if you like it and it works for you. This is simply how I've done this path, how I've gone about this. And there's a whole interesting story. It's on our website in our blog articles and I'll talk about it. I always do periodically. You need to know how this happened with me in my lifetime because really the same, you're living the same life that I'm living. We're all immortal now. We're all here now. None of us are dead yet. <laughs> so we can work on this. Mindfulness for immortality, number one. Two, Qigong for lasting life. Three, immortality coaching. As happy as we may be, we may have unconscious resentments, anger, and fear that is kind of like an energetic twist that eventually <laughs> kills us and makes the world a terrible place. This twist is the acceptance also of death as an inevitable end of life. Disney talks about it and puts a nice shine on it, you know, the circle of life, but the circle of life is disease, accident, hardship, and death, and um, I've had enough of that. Uh, if you have also, get into the secret to immortality at immortalnow.com. Forgiveness today is what Everything is all about forgive and forgive again. Forgive with me right now, this very second. Forgive and forgive again. Forgive everything, everyone, ourselves, each other. Forgive the world. Forgive your higher power. We forgive. In that forgiveness, love and grace comes forth. Love and grace comes forth. It really does right now with me as we're talking about it. Forgive and forgive again. Have the most wonderful day of your life. You are immortal now.